In this video, we're going to learn how to make walk cycles for your pixel art characters for your own games. Now, this is a really simple technique that anyone can do. Even if you know nothing about animation, you can get something looking, uh, looking kind of cool like this. And hey, if you're brand new to pixel art, I don't want you to miss the pixel art fast track. That is a free course where I'll teach you the essentials, the need to know stuff about jumping into pixel art. And I also have an in-depth course for purchase. If you want to really learn to make pixel art for your own games, make them really unique and not have to worry about getting stock assets and things like that. But you can learn a bunch with the pixel art fast track for free. So let's get to it. The first thing I want you to notice is that this bear who's kind of running here, there are only four frames of animation here. This first frame is his feet are apart like this and his right foot is here and his left foot is here. His arm is forward. This is his right arm and it's forward like this. And you can't see his left arm behind the body. The third frame is very similar. See, look when I switch these, very similar. The difference is his legs are apart, but his right foot is forward and his left foot is back and his right paw is back. And so these are really the main two frames. There's this first frame where this is apart and then the third frame where it's apart. And these frames right here, these are together. So frame two, he's kind of just standing up and frame four is exactly like frame two. So we really only need to draw three frames here. There's a part together and a part, but the opposite way. So let's break this down make it a little bit more simple. I'm just going to draw like a little purple egg guy here. Okay. And his right foot is going to be red, R for right and R for red. And we're gonna start with his foot forward like this. And his left foot, I don't know a color that starts with an L. How about lavender? That is gonna be back here behind it. So this is a part and let's make a new frame. And we're gonna draw the other apart frame here in frame two. But really all we, just about all we need to do is switch the colors of this. So let's make this one lavender and the other one red. Okay. They're apart, but it's the opposite foot in front. In fact, this red should be kind of in front of him if it's his whole leg, because you can see the leg in front of the body if it's closer to you than this one. Okay. So that's kind of how it works. Okay. So we have almost the exact same shape, but when we actually fill this in with colors and everything later, we'll detail it to make sure that we know this is the right foot coming forward and the left foot back. And this is the left foot coming forward and the right foot back. So now that we have those two apart frames, let's go ahead and make a new frame. And this is going to be in between them. And this is just going to be like a standing up straight kind of frame. So I'm just going to kind of get rid of these outlying pixels here and let's just have him stand straight up. Maybe we'll just barely see this lavender behind him, something like that. He's pretty much just standing straight up. So apart, straight up, apart, and then let's duplicate this second frame, say new frame, and I'll take this and just drag it to the right. So now we have frame one is apart, frame two is together, frame three is apart, but the opposite, and then frame four is together. And look what happens when we play this back. It looks like he's walking. Isn't that awesome? So cool. So cool. Okay. So this is kind of the first part is taking those frames for apart and together. And that's really the minimum that you need to make a walk cycle. Now you could make a walk cycle in six frames or eight frames, but four is what you need. That's like the minimum. Um, unless your character is really, really small, like a really small resolution, you know, if it's just, if it's just a little guy like this, you know, then you might be able to use like two frames and just have these kind of move back and forth or something. But usually for 16 by 16 characters or eight by eight, you'll need at least four frames. So this is cool, but what's really going to sell this is the arms. It's just like, if you've seen somebody who, who tries to do a moonwalk, what really sells that is the arms. Okay. Look it up, look up videos of, of people trying to do Michael Jackson moonwalk. You got to work your shoulders. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to draw the right hand red as well. And as a general rule, the right arm is going to be the opposite direction of the leg. Okay. So we're just going to kind of make an arm like this, something like that. And there's his arm and it's back. Over here, it's going to be really forward. So we're going to keep it in the same place for the shoulder, but we're going to just push this forward a little bit. So here's back and here's forward. See? And then in between, it's pretty much just going to hang there. Okay. So now look at this. Oh, and now it's like really looks like a walk cycle. Really looks like he's walking now. Okay. We can detail this a little more by adding the purple out front if we want, and the purple in the back here. Then it can really look like our guy's walking. Okay. And the very last part of this is you got to add a little bit of bounce. So when he has his feet apart, he's going to be closest to the ground. When he's standing up, he's actually going to be just a little bit taller. So what we can do is either make him shorter when he's walking like this or taller when he's up here like this. So let's just, let's just try and make him a little shorter. So I'm just going to take everything here 
just move it down one and then everything here and move it down one just like that i'll color in my leg stuff a little bit here make this read a little better okay maybe something like that and now we have a little bit of bounce and that is what really makes it it looks like he's strolling along our little purple egg guy <laughs> If I want to see this slower, I can select all of these frames, right click and go to frame properties. And then instead of duration milliseconds, 100, let's do 200. So we can just see this a little bit slower. There he goes. He's walking. Yeah, it looks like he's ready. Looks like he's, he's marching off somewhere. <laughs> and that's what we want. So that's pretty much how it works is you can kind of block out your animation with these shapes like this. And then what I like to do is actually draw my character kind of over it. And that's pretty much how I did it here with our bear is I drew kind of the basic shapes of the bear and then ended up kind of drawing the details and everything over him. And I think it turned out pretty cool. Nice little walk cycle. Some other things that kind of help with this are this backpack. We're letting this backpack kind of move back and forth on his back. We have his head bouncing up and down. We have his arm going back and forth. And of course we have his legs switching. So all of those things kind of contribute to this looking like a good walk cycle. And what's great is once you have kind of your main basic character like this, it's not that big of a deal to kind of just grab parts and move them where they're supposed to be. I kind of started with him standing like this and then adjusted him on these other frames. So using those principles, we can have a really nice looking walk cycle. Not too hard. Don't have to be a professional animator. And again, if you're brand new to pixel art, don't miss the pixel art fast track. That's going to be right here. Free. I also have more pixel art videos right there. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great day.